Hi all, in this video I am going to explain about three JavaScript functions call, apply, bind. What is the use of this function and what is the difference between this call, apply and bind function. In almost all interviews they will ask this question uh, about call, apply and bind. Today I am going to explain with a simple example. So before that I am writing a object student1 and I am giving a name of the student as student1 and I am writing a function get name which will return not return it will console the name. And in order to call the get name function, you can simply call student one dot get name. Save it. So it will display the name student one. So just assume I'm creating another object con student two, and I'm giving a name as student two. Saving it. In order to use the get name function inside the student2, we don't need to rewrite the same function inside the student2 object. Instead, we can use call method or apply method. Okay, how we will use and bind method also we can use it. I will explain it. Okay, so student1 dot get name function I have to call inside student 2 save it you can see it is showing student 2 how this is happening so if I write student 1 so I am just commenting this one for now so that you can clearly see I am using student 2 so student1 get name function call with the student2 object so here inside the get name function you can see inside a get name this dot so there is a this reference so if you are calling a function with the call operator and whatever the parameter we are passing whatever the this reference we are using inside the get, fun get name function it will replies with our new object so here student1 get name function contain a console with the this parameter it will replies with the student2 object so it will replies with the student2 object and inside that object there is a name called student2 and this dot name will be student2 dot name so the first parameter we are passing is student2. So this call function we can also use for function borrowing. Okay, The same way if you want to use apply we can use it. So apply also it has the same method but there is some difference I will come to that point. Okay, And the same way If you try to use the bind function it won't display here because this bind function will take a copy of the get name function with this reference as the student2 but call and apply function whenever we are calling that time itself it directly execute that function and will return the output but the bind function will create a copy of the student1 get name with the student2 as the this reference so if i console this particular function you can see this bind function is returning a function it's not calling it's it's returning a function that means it taking a copy of student one get name with the student two as the this reference so i will create a variable in order to assign that function so const bind function copy equal to this variable 
so this variable have the function so in order to call the function you can simply put a bracket then it will invoke that function then you will get the student rule so this is the call this is apply and bind bind there is only difference it is taking a copy of the function with the latest reference and it is calling uh, in future call and apply it will call there itself okay this is a main difference so all these three functions we can use for function borrowing and if you doesn't have to pass that means in the in the function you don't have any reference okay then you can simply pass null or undefined for this reference then it will take this if any this is there inside the function then that this will be taken as a global object okay if you are passing anything it will take that object if you are not passing it will take the global this reference okay and the next thing is what is the difference between call and apply so here in this function there is no parameters what happens if you need to pass some parameters like age or country so i am calling age comma country so saving it you can see it is showing undefined here so here so here you can see in student 2 i am passing whatever the age country the first parameter is the this reference the remaining parameters are the arguments we have to pass to that get name function so age is the first parameter so 15 i am passing the country as india saving it so you can see the first is the name and second is the parameter we are passing to the call 15 and the third is the location country okay and the call for the call parameters the remaining arguments we have to pass it as a comma separated and it will accept it okay but for the apply the main difference whatever the parameters we are passing we have to pass it as an array format so if you are passing uh, the first parameter will be the this reference and the second parameter will be the array of argument and here it will take a comma separated but uh, apply function we have to pass it as an array save it then you can see it is displaying here the bind function is all, all always similar to call function we have to pass it as a comma separated so 16 then us saving it then you can see so the difference between call and apply is it in the structure it serves the main purpose of function borrowing but uh, the arguments we are passing after the uh, this reference will be comma separated in the apply it will be in an array format the bind call apply there is only one difference uh, there the main difference is it will take the copy of that function and whenever invoking whenever that function is getting invoked then it is called so it is for future reference call and apply function it will whenever it is calling that time itself it is getting executed and the return the output here it will take the copy of that function and when that function is called invoked again then only it is getting called that is a main difference between uh, all this function and what is the real time use of this call uh, apply or bind functions maybe you can see uh, apply for example apply i can show you if you aware of the function console.log math dot min or max function so it will accept a comma separated value right so it will return the minimum value of this uh, series just assume you want to write a function get min values and i am consoling this and i am accepting array as the argument so get min values i am passing array instead of comma separated value normally we will pass it as an array right but if you want to use an array to the min it won't accept it right so if i am passing array to the min math min it won't accept it it should no. instead pass it with apply so 
apply and the first parameter will be the what we as we mentioned the first parameter will be the uh, this reference if you don't have any this reference give us a null and the second parameter will be the array so apply null then array pass it and save it you will get the value so apply will convert take the array and array as the arguments and the parameter side they will take us a comma separated value so this is a real time usage uh, so the bind also you can use uh, we are using in the react uh, uh, react also the bind function the same way up call also so based on the understanding of the functionality of call apply bind we can use uh, in many places okay yeah that's all about uh, call apply and bind function in javascript